Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing messages for Sung Jung Ki, alright, and his future love, or I'm not sure if he's married or not, um, we'll say his love, <laughs> that way we're covering the bases, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we have for Sung Jung Ki? Sung Jung Ki. Ki Spirit. Oh, that was awfully fast, and that was just a drop of the cards. Just saying. <laughs> what do we have for Sung Jung Ki? Sung Jung Ki. Sung Jung Ki, please, Spirit. Oh. Okay, we've got a bit of a group here. Ooh, we have a fortune, five of cups, the hermit. So it looks like already there's a wheel um, turning uh, from some hurt. Uh, and then the hermit with the shadow work. So I kind of feel like this five of cups here, the hermit is healing from something. And I kind of feel like this is finally turning um, for a lot of people, but in this reading uh, for Sung Jung Ki. And we have the Chariot, we have the Hierophant, and we have four major arcanas. That means that, that it's definitely life-changing, okay? We have the Seven of Wands, wow, and we got a fifth one, the world. So something is totally completed. Um, I see after the hermit there, the chariot is moving forward, I feel, uh, maybe even towards spirituality or some type of belief system, whether it's religion, or spiritual, or however. I feel that in this, there's some loving of thyself, and also standing up for what he believes in. Now, hmm. this could mean that he's married. And I don't know if he is or not. <laughs> but I'm kind of feeling like, hmm, eh. we'll see. <laughs> the world card here so something's wrapping up something's finished it might have been some type of disagreement maybe standing up for if he is married his wife and completing some cycle here I don't know if it's with the wife maybe and sometimes with the Hierophant, I kind of get that they're bringing their keys and handing in their keys to the house, kind of like um, <laughs> divorcing, and I, I don't know why I feel like that, but um, not that that is what is going on, um, just sometimes that's what I've picked up on. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, so we have Seven Seven here. One more card, okay. So we have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, usually, <laughs> usually this means thinking of somebody from the past, loving memories, and my Nine of Pentacles is usually somebody that is single. So, um, but we're gonna clarify. <laughs> Cause it looks like there is some type of disagreement here and some hurt, some healing, some moving forward. My card sometimes for the Hierophant isn't just marriage, I feel like handing in those keys. It might be divorce, standing the ground, ending the cycle, building up his coins again for the long haul thinking of somebody from the past, and then being single. So, 
Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the star. Wish fulfillment. Hmm. But well, we're going to take a look. <laughs> All right. Let's find out for Sun John Key, please. Sun John Key. Wheel of Fortune, please, Spirit. Can I get a card for the Wheel of Fortune? Mm, the Empress. Mm. What's the Five of Cups? Woo! Hermit. Okay, so there's healing right away after the Hurt. What's the Hermit on the next one here? More healing with the Four of Swords. Wow. Okay, so lots of healing. The Chariot, Page of Cups. So moving forward with love. What is the Hierophant? I wonder if it's, yeah, walking away. Separation, maybe? Wanting to give love, but maybe she's not having it. Somebody's giving love and the other one is not, is walking away. What's the seven of wands? Oh, I almost lost that whole bunch there. <laughs> oh, looks like some type of betrayal. Mm. This could be with a friend. With the Empress there though, I don't know. I kind of feel it might be if he has married the wife or the girlfriend, the significant other. What's the world? What's the ending? Yeah, maybe having to pay out some money. Reaping what you sow. What's the Seven of Pentacles? The star. Wish fulfillment again. I mean, the star can mean... Uh, Letting go of baggage. Let's see, what's the six of cups? Let's let's keep going. Lovers is a choice in love. The six of cups. What's the nine of pentacles here? Nine of pentacles. Oh, got a bit here. Got the Nine of Swords, which is regrets. Working. Maybe wanting to work it out. And then the Moon. There might have been some secrets here. Hmm. The moon doesn't necessarily have to be things bad. Maybe it's more of a fear or... Mm, victory at the bo bottom, so... Victory and a wish fulfillment. Now, I'm just thinking this could be a family. Could be a mother figure with the Empress there. Could be just a separation or a disagreement maybe they end up getting back together as a choice because there's clearly regret here trying to work things out but with the moon there hmm. let's get some other cards here see if we can't find some other things out here moon about the moon's spirit mm. loss death forfeit grief setback it's over done removed so it could have been some grief maybe or I mean it could be somebody's relationship over I suppose um could be grief 
And people have, uh, sometimes people don't know how to deal with grief. Not that they don't know how to deal, but we all kind of have our own way of grieving. Like, there's no right or wrong way to grieve, right? What's, that's a loss. Okay, what's the betrayal then? What's the betrayal for the Ten of Swords here? What's the Ten of Swords about? Tornado. Oh. Storm brewing, a sudden unexpected end. Okay. I'm on the end. So I'm going to say that there was a sudden unexpected end here with the tornado. So, and that was clarifying the Ten of Swords. Over and done with. Okay, well, why is the Page of Cups here then? Why is the Page of Cups? Somebody wanted to give some love moving forward. Oh. Black Widow, betrayal, warning, twisted, cunning, danger, toxic situation. Mm. Unexpected attack. That doesn't sound so good. <laughs> so, it looks like there was something that happened here pretty significant a web of control maybe there were control issues or something what is the hermit and the four of swords then why is that here what's the hermit and the four of swords the compass discovery life path seeking truth mm. Maybe some truth came out here. Direction, seeking truth, finding your way. That's a master number 22. What's the Hermit and the Five of Cups then? Who's that for? Going places, adventure, vacation, trip. Oh. travel overseas, maybe just gone too much to um, really sustain a relationship. Let's find out what the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune is. What's the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune? Heart, love, romance, joy, bliss, affection. So that's right at the beginning here with the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune turning. So things are good <laughs> and then somebody it looks like somebody comes back from a vacation to sadness and healing coming back from a vacation and then it looks like there's healings on both sides with the hermit again and a four of swords and then we have the compass, seeking truth. So, and then with wanting to give love and move forward or... Hmm, there seems to be some type of betrayal. Now, whether it's on the partner's side or whether it's on uh, us, Sung John Key. I'm not sure. Let's find out what the middle is. It's the heart of the reading and is the hierophant and walking away from maybe a marriage here. What's the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant Sea Spirit? What's the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant Sea? Thank you. Oof. Yeah. Pendant in the ring. Hmm. Yeah, it has to do with the marriage. The Hierophant walking away from a marriage. I didn't know he was married, but saying married, maybe they're engaged. Maybe they're planning to get married. It could have been any of those things. 
Yeah, engagement, proposal, diamond ring, promise, statement of intent, marriage, union, next level. So with the Hierophant there, though, I kind of feel like it might have been a marriage with the ring. Walking away from a marriage, I'm going to say that. I'm going to go out on a limb and that's what the cards are telling me. Then we have standing their ground with the betrayal and a tornado with the storm brewing. We have the world and the seven of pentacles. So let's clarify that with another card here. What's the world and the seven of pentacles? Oh, that was fast. What do we have? Okay. Action. Destroy. Power cake. Sudden. Un hey, it's very fast. Unexpected. Short fuse. Explosive. With the dynamite there. And the number five. Hmm. So it was an explosive ending. Had probably a lot to do with money. Mm, I don't know how long they've been married. If I'm going to say maybe five years. I see a lot of fives in here. Let's see. What's the star and the seven of pentacles? So we've got maybe they. Uh, maybe she didn't get as much as she hoped for, or he didn't keep as much as he hoped for. What is the star and the pentacles? Is that about money? What's the star and the pentacles? Is that about starting over? What is the star and the pentacles? Let's see. Hmm. Aff affluence, luxury, mobility, travel. Great ease, smooth sailing, sophistication, self-indulgent. So, yes, prosperity, wealth, over the top, extravagant. So, it had to do another five. So, I'm going to say that maybe they were married for five years. I don't know. But with that... It definitely makes me feel money, okay? Let's see, let's move on. We have the Six of Cups and the Lovers here, which is thinking of loving memories, right? About their choice that they made. Maybe there's some, well, there is regret here. So, maybe there was secrets that she didn't know about. Maybe it was her secret. Maybe he finds out other secrets after the fact. Or she finds out more things after the fact. What's the Six of Cups and the Lovers? Shooting Star. Quick action. Wish granted. Rare. Falling. Moment in time. Luck. Passionate. Passing through. Hmm. So it might be somebody that he had his eye on, or possibly his significant other, his wife. Maybe he had to sell a business or give something up in this divorce. Let's see, what's the Nine of Pentacles and, okay, we're not taking those. <laughs> nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, Nine Nine here too. What's the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Spirit? Heart and Home, yeah. Regretting the security, love, the kindness, the family, the belonging, the contentment, the comfort, legacy, boundaries, heart's desire. Yeah, there's some, there's some regret here, which is kind of sad.
Hmm. And then we have Three of Pentacles and the Moon. So it could have been secrets about a third party here. Maybe somebody that he's worked with. What's the moon and the three of pentacles? What's the moon and three of pentacles, please, spirit? Okay. Checker flag, conclusion, outcome, hmm. Result, the end, achievement, final chapter, feeling relieved. Now, Maybe a, um, I'm kind of feeling, maybe he ended something with somebody else, or his significant other did. Because it's a completion with this card, okay? The end, finishing first, achievement. So it's possible maybe he found out about a secret she was keeping. One of the two. He either told her about it or she told him. Or they found out about it. That's on the bottom of the deck. Celtic knot. Unconditional love. Divine union, eternal, infinite, enduring, connected, love of a lifetime. Maybe he was keeping this other person a secret. Maybe he didn't end it with them. Maybe he just came out with it. That there was no more, hi no more need to hide it. And maybe it was a third party that he was hiding. And the end is being able to come out with it and not, not feel bad about it anymore. And it could be that he, maybe he's found the one, the other one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, let's just do the, romance angels and see what comes up there i don't want to make these too long it's already 25 minutes yeah new love and codependency so i kind of feel maybe um there was maybe some codependency on one of their situations here could have been on the wife's side if they're married i still feel like maybe they are with marriage looking at me right there i see it um, and then a new love. So it could have been that maybe he met somebody on vacation and when he came home, maybe he had done stuff with this new person or that he wanted to get with this new person. But it is a new love. And there were issues with his old, his old love, old love, <laughs> his ex-love, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, what other questions? Um, I kind of feel it's, they meet, they, the significant other here, they meet at a vacation spot. And there is a victory here, and a wish fulfillment with the star. So, it looks like he fought for it. Yeah, the lovers is there when it came to love. Yeah, made a judgment call, stood up for himself, was planning and strategizing with the three of wands there, waiting for ships to come in, waiting maybe for this person. Maybe he had to get this out of the way to actually start with this person. Doesn't mean he actually cheated, it just means that uh, maybe he met somebody that meant a lot to him. Maybe it was love at first sight you know that does exist right so 
Let's see, let's ask a couple questions. Uh, these ones, I believe. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Let's ask, these are yes or no answers in this little deck here. Some of it is where the divine doesn't want to answer, and I can ask many, many times, and I still get the same answer. I'm sure you probably saw that in one of my readings. <laughs> but let's see. Do they dream about each other, this new love? And, um, she's, <laughs> what's the name again? Uh, Sung Jung Ki, sorry. <laughs> I had to think there, where did I put it? <laughs> Do they dream about each other, this new love? This new love for Sung Jung Ki? Within a few weeks, they're not gonna tell me. Okay, can we try again? Another five. No, that's an eight. Okay, never mind. Uh, do they dream about each other, this new person, winter, hmm, nine to twelve months, hmm, is she pregnant, <laughs> is the new love pregnant, is the new love pregnant, are you going to tell me, hmm, Coin toss, 50-50 chance, unpredictable, can't decide. Hmm. It says fate on here, so they're not going to tell me that either. Okay. Uh, is she a foreigner? Oh, that was really fast. Within a few days. <laughs> Is she a foreigner? Expect the unexpected. <laughs> okay, do we have yes and no answers in here? I'm sure I do. Okay, we're, are they going to have children? Very likely. Okay. All right, that's something. <laughs> I didn't even ask. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's see. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, by the way. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, like, share as well, please. That would be so awesome. I always end up waiting till the end and instead of saying something before that. Let's see. Um, let's, okay, let's get their energy of the two new people. And what do I want to use for that? Maybe this one. Let's see what their energy is. And I'm going to do her energy on here, his energy here, and I'm just going to split the deck. So we have the Horse King, Assistance Control, okay, and Transformation, intu Intuition, and Patience the swan queen so we got the horse king and the swan queen <laughs> king and queen cool so in any case i think we're gonna wrap it up there all right so please like share and subscribe ah that was the other question are they soulmates what do we have here this new love I gotta get that one off there. I keep forgetting. That's the animal one. Let's see. Twin flame. So a twin flame. Wow. That's a pretty amazing um, union. That is quite magnetic. Uh, quite powerful. And that would explain uh, the unconditional love. Wow. That's crazy. And Spirit didn't want me to do... But I'm going to do it. Are they going to have any children right now? Like in the near future? Soon? No children! <laughs> ah! 
Wow, okay, so no children and a twin flame, and as of now, anyways. <laughs> anyways, please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care. Later. <laughs>